Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a flip through and a review of The Human Body Part 1. This is a K-6 science unit by The Good and the Beautiful. First of all, if you can hear the rain outside, it is pouring with rain, so I don't know if you can hear that. But if you're new here, I have five children. They just completed kindergarten, grade 3, grade 4, and grade 6, and then I have a toddler as well. So first I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a kind of a look at the material. Then I'll share some extras we added in as well as our thoughts on this unit. So first I just want to show you how I store everything because when you um, either download it or you order from the company, it comes loose leaf. It is not bound or attached in any way. So I keep everything in one of these envelopes from Staples that like expands at the bottom and everything just fits great in there. So we recently finished the unit, so it's not as organized as I would have it at the beginning when we're about to do it, but you can kind of get an overview here. We'll start here. So this is the actual material. I went ahead and bound the book. This is one I purchased from them. However, wherever I had to take something out to laminate, I printed double-sided black and white and just kept it in the right place so that I knew exactly where everything would go. But you can kind of see here what it looks like. So the unit has the table of contents, your um, information, supplies needed, read aloud storybooks that are recommended, vocabulary cards, the units here, and you can kind of have a quick look at these pages here. It's nice when they have the breakdown of what you need for each unit so you can look at that ahead of time. Oh, the pages are stuck. There we go. And these are some of the extra books that you can use for the unit. You can see I've made little notes, which ones we own, which one the library has, and such. And then right into the vocabulary cards. So for the vocabulary cards, I went ahead and I cut and laminated them. There are a lot of them for this unit. We would just put them up on our whiteboard and they almost all fit. I had to put a few on the wall you can kind of see what they look like. They're colorful, they're simple, and I laminated them because we will use them again. But there is a lot of those. It also comes with mini books. And I decided to put all the mini books together in one package on one coil here. And so I laminated it so that as you flipped it, the page was the right way. So there's like two in one laminating sheet and did the mini books that way that come with them. There are some little cutouts for um, games and such, some things you need here. So again, I just keep them in the bag and that worked just fine. There was a game at the back here. I just laminated this page. And then these are the masters. <clears throat> these are pages that if we do the unit again, I need to photocopy them or print them from the PDF. So I just keep those separate just to make it easy. So you can see those there. So here's a quick look at my children's binders. Now these binders are used for multiple subjects and it's the end of the year. And so like this child's is um, way too full and falling apart. But just to give you an idea of the science journal that you keep, this is my kindergartner, grade three, grade four, and grade six. So there is a page in the beginning, similar to this one where you do um, about you. I've just skipped that because there's some personal information on there. These pages here, I'll show you the coloring book in a minute. These are not from The Good and the Beautiful. I just added them in. These pages are from part of The Good and the Beautiful's package. So you can see that even though she was younger, she was able to do some of it too, and there's lots of her coloring and notes and stuff in there. This was one where they had to cut and paste. And then at the end here about fingerprints. So I'll just give you kind of a quick flip through of the older children. So you can see a little bit of the difference and you can hear my children thumping upstairs too. This one, I don't know how much I can show you. It's falling apart. This is their um, vocabulary they filled out. You can kind of see it's more detailed. This is my oldest. So he has a lot more notes. I did have him do the extensions as well, even though he's only in grade six. And so he has extra writing in his as well. At the back here, after his like, notes and such. 
he has some of the extra assignments here. So you can kind of just get a look at it and a sense for how you can make it work family style from kindergarten to grade six in our case. A couple of them also had these in their binders. This was one of the activities that we did with the blood flow and the chambers of the heart. That was a fun one, a neat one to do. So I just wanted to mention too that while on the front it says it is for a unit study K to six, they do have these extensions for older children, grades seven and eight, at the end of each lesson. It's an extra assignment or um, research or something, extra like words to define, to make it a little bit more challenging for the older child. So I'll just kind of show you some extra things as well. So this is the um, coloring book pages. I got it from this book, separate from the good and the beautiful, but we found it went really well with kind of them wanting to color in a good age appropriate thing. So these are some of the books that were on the list. I did buy, I'm not sure if they still sell um, the book packages through The Good and the Beautiful, but these are some of the books. And I did read some of them aloud as well. This is a nice story here. I like this one. This is more of like a storybook story. You see them here. The brain. Muscles. These are big books, like big books, bones. And then we got out a whole lot of books from our library too. I would look at what was available. And then I had my children do some independent reading as well, um, both in English and some in French as well. And we added that in. We also added in Professor Noggin's The Human Body. If you haven't seen these card games before, they come with these cards. Are different topics about the body with little pictures and then on the back there's three easy and three hard questions and there's a dice so this works really well everyone in my family from the kindergartner except the toddler he can hold the cards um, but my kindergartner all the way up to my husband and I play these games and it's nice to kind of reinforce what they've learned in the lesson and then we also added in two chapter books from the Magic School Bus, Search for the Missing Bones, The Giant Germ, and then we also added in like the movies that go along. There's some Magic School Bus movies, and we watched some of the Bill Nye Science Guy videos as well. So we added extra in that kind of complemented what they were learning. Overall, I really like the format of The Good and the Beautiful. The science units are not too long, but they are very full of information. I think if I were to do this again, I might even slow it down a bit and spend twice as long because there's just so much you can talk about. Now this is part one, so I'm curious to see what part two is gonna be like and perhaps that will be more of that kind of um, refresh or if they're gonna go into other topics, I'm not sure. So if you're not familiar with The Good and the Beautiful, they are a non-denominational Christian curriculum, which fits with our family that worked really well. A lot of the science, once you've prepped it, it's kind of open and go. I did find this one had a lot of hands-on activities and I'll kind of insert some pictures as I'm talking here um, from different, lots of different things that you could try. Some are really simple, just using post-it notes. Others took more ingredients um, and more time. There were a couple, maybe one or two that we didn't do because it just kind of got overwhelming. I felt like it was too much. So that was kind of a negative for me. But overall, my kids really liked it. I liked it. I think it's a good, firm foundation and kind of general knowledge about the body. Again, it's listed up to um, kind of that middle school age. I had my son in grade six do the extensions, and that was like at his level. So it worked out for all of us. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and I will answer them for you there. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.